Hello, today we are at the KWR Water Cycle Research Institute in Nieuwegein. We will talk about the involvement of citizens in gathering and uh, co-creating knowledge and innovation. We will also talk about the uh, citizen science project, the freshness of water. We will do this with two of the main uh, stakeholders involved. Uh, Stijn Brouwer, who is working at uh, KWR Water Cycle Research Institute, and with Jan-Peter van der Hoek, who is affiliated uh, to the water company of Amsterdam, which is called Waternet, as well as to uh, the Technical University of Delft. And what you're going to see next is a debate, or actually a conversation, between these two experts. In the Freshness of Water project, citizens of Amsterdam were involved in researching the bacterial composition of their own drinking water. However, the aim of the project was not purely focused on examining the bacterial composition of drinking water alone. In fact, the project had both a social science and a natural science component. Um, so, uh, from the natural science perspective, the the aim was to, to better understand um, the bacteria of how, of how the bacterial composition of water changes during transportation and after stagnation. And from the social science perspective, especially given that it was the first citizen science project in the drinking water domain in the Netherlands, we primarily um, focused on a better understanding of the, the background of, uh, of uh, volunteering citizens, their ambition, their motivation. Um, but we also try to better understand the significance citizen scientists themselves uh, attach to their um, involvement. Um, but of course, before we could start the project, well, we had to find enthusiastic uh, volunteers in Amsterdam, which turned out to be relatively easy. Unfortunately, also uh, Waternet, the Amsterdam drinking water company, was enthusiastic, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, sure. Waternet uh, was enthusiastic about the project. We saw many opportunities, but we also had some uh, hesitations. Um, well, we had a lot of discussions within the company. Um, as you know, the drinking water quality in the Netherlands is of a very high quality, also in Amsterdam. Uh, it's checked on a regular basis, daily. And as a water company, we, we can deliver very safe drinking water to the customers. And safe drinking water, that means chemically safe, but also microbiology safe. And that means there are no pathogenic bacteria in the water. But there are non-pathogenic bacteria in the water, up to millions in a liter. And that's a fact that is not known to customers. So as opportunity we saw well a close contact with the customers and also transparency about the drinking water quality, also on an aspect which is not known to the customers. And a second opportunity was well we could take samples on a time and on a location which is a little bit difficult for a water company. Early in the morning the first time a customer opens the tap there are samples. But the hesitations were, okay, we didn't know how it would turn out, these insights to the customers. So should it affect the confidence in the drinking water or in the water company? And then the final thing was, okay, how to communicate about the results? Well, yes, indeed. The effect of um, transparent uh, communication was yet another research question within our project. I believe it, it truly was an effort to, to bridge the gap between drinking water customers and their drinking water, their drinking water company. Truly an effort to, to get to know each other better. Um, so from this perspective, it was also key to, to consider the, the, the motivations um, of the participating citizens right from the, from the start. I mean, why would they want to contribute? What's in it for them? And, well, their motivations turned out to be rather diverse. Ik ben biologiedocent en leraar op Leiden Biologie. Dus ik heb sowieso wat met microbiologie. En ik hou heel erg van drinkwater en ben heel blij dat we dat zo uit de kraan kunnen drinken. Dus ik was vooral nieuwsgierig. Ik ben zelf hydroloog, dus wel bewust met, uh, met het water. En ik ben wel heel benieuwd hoe de kwaliteit van water verandert als je het 
drinkt als je het bij je hebt. Ja, ik wil weten wat voor water uit elkaar komt uh, in eerste instantie. En dit is natuurlijk technisch. En daar heb ik geen kaas van gegeten. Dus dat vind ik leuk. Ik om meer te weten te komen over water en hoe dat hier werkt in Amsterdam. En je hoort altijd verhalen dat Nederland zo goed drinkwater heeft. En je denkt van ja, in het buitenland smaakt het heel vaak naar chloor en zo. En ik was wel benieuwd hoe meetbaar dat nou echt is. So besides the interest of citizen scientists, a clear role division and an open interaction process between the citizens, Waternet and the KBBR researchers was uh, essential for a successful co-creation process and a valid research. So for us as a research institute, citizen science turned out to be a success um, with many new research results. And at least as important for the citizen scientists themselves, well, they regard their, their participation as fun, informative and useful. Well, for Waternet also the project had some uh, very positive results. Well, firstly, the citizens involved uh, were more conscious about okay. drinking water production and also the drinking water composition, the microbial drinking water composition. Well, it increased the confidence in drinking water, also the confidence in the water company, and that's important for the water company. And finally, we got some new knowledge, we acquired some new knowledge about the so-called microbiome of drinking water. Which bacteria are present in drinking water? Thank you, Stanley and Peter, for sharing these insights with us on how to involve citizens in co-creating knowledge and innovation. We have seen how different uh, values can be created for different stakeholders in this citizen science project. And we have learned that a, a well-chosen and context-specific uh, research setup with a suitable role for citizen scientists is essential for a successful uh, citizen science study.